John Daly, Dundalk manager, what a game that was, especially the first half, but big three points for you off the bottom of the table now. Yeah, it was a, a fantastic game, I'd say, for the neutral, not for myself watching it. I don't think the heart could take much of that. Um, but no, look, we, we had a fantastic start, really did. Um, Jamie Gullen with a free kick, we know he's got that in his locker. And and then young Ryan O'Kane, who, who I've seen since I've come in, has got bags and bags of quality, um, just lacking a bit of confidence. Hopefully he takes confidence from that. And then Jamie Gullen again, then scoring that all elusive goal from open play that he's been looking for. So to go 3 0 up so early, um, I know I've heard managers say it before, but like there is a, you know, probably to go 3 0 up that early gives them loads of time. Pats are a good team. And then obviously the penalty um, gives them a foothold back in the game, and then, you know, disappointed to concede from a corner. Um, but we had to show some. Real doggedness and character then to see the game out, and I thought the boys done that. They defended their box really well, and uh, yeah, so delighted to come away with three points. Yeah, what was the message at half time? Given the start was so good and they get the two goals, it was a sense at half time that it certainly wasn't game over. No, and you, you know the quality that Pats have, even off the bench as well, bringing boys like Kavanaugh on, and um, you know they've got some real quality there that they can go and change the game for you. So the message was, was clear, I just thought we, we could have been a little bit better in possession. We obviously knew that we were going to um, give up the ball in certain areas and, and look to break, which I thought we'd done very very well in the first kind of 15-20 minutes. But then I thought we could have been a little bit better in possession once we, we made that first or second pass. Um, the game opened up for us then and I felt that when we won it back at times we just we just lacked that um, little bit of composure just to go and play. And then second half we, we, we were better again in their moments. and. We were unlucky then, probably not to go and add another goal. I think Jamie Gullen had two more good chances. Owen Kenny at the end had a really good chance. So, um, But now look, we'll, we'll take the 3-2 and we'll take the three points and, and head back up the road. Yeah, and I know it's still very early days for, for yourself, but I'm, I'm sure when you took the job, you would have seen the potential in the group. Yeah, 100%. And, and I've probably said it before and I'll say it again. I genuinely wouldn't have took the job if I didn't feel there was um, quality in the group. and. And the characters in there, obviously I don't know the players before I've took the job, so you're only getting to know them. And I have to say the characters that are in the change room are, are fantastic and they're certainly not a team that um, should be where they are, but they are, you know, they're there um, because they haven't got results and it's important now that we try and back these this win up now on Friday uh, away to obviously Shells who are who are a really good side, so we need to try and get something there as well. The fact that it is the first away win of the season though must give you great confidence. Yeah, of course. I think uh, we spoke before. The game. We obviously have a fantastic uh, defensive record at home. You know, I think they've got seven clean sheets in a row um, at home. So it's trying to bring that mentality when we go away from home and trying to be uh, defensively solid and defend your box. And I thought they've done that. Obviously, we, we we gave the penalty away with the with the handball. I haven't seen it back, but um, and then the as I said, the corner is disappointing. So. If we can defend them situations a little bit better, I didn't think Pats created an awful lot um, in open play. They had loads of like balls in our box that, as I said, we defended really well. And um, you know, and Andy Boyle and Zach Johnson and Big Mayo uh, when he came on were were um, were solid when they were in there and the balls came in. Strange feeling going to the away end to celebrate a win. Yeah, of course. I think when it's coming in, obviously I'm talking to myself in my head, saying force right, force right down the stairs. You know, making sure I don't go down the wrong steps. You know, it's obviously. I had a good couple of years here, I really enjoyed my time and um, the fans were brilliant with me and I've got nothing but love for them and um, I really, as I said, I really enjoyed my time here but that's gone now and I need to focus on, on my job that I'm in at the moment and it's great to uh, you know, see the, the Dundalk fans singing and happy at the end, you know, hopefully we can give them more memories like that. Thanks John, congratulations Thank on the win. You. Thanks very much.